Oh, hi folks, it's uh, Chet from Tag Along with Chet here. And uh, yeah, I just uh, got the airplane uh, towed out. I used my tractor this time because uh, my back's kind of acting up. So uh, we're just going to go on a little flight uh, locally. And I'll just show you some of the uh, areas around here, around Vulcan. It's a nice little community and uh, we've got the uh, golf course uh, right over there. So it's basically right across the street from my hangar. And uh, back in that neck of the woods out there, that's the back nine of the golf course, and uh, that's where I uh, I, uh, I live, in the, in the better half, and the dog, Piper. So, uh, anyway, uh, let's get in the airplane and uh, see if uh, we can get this thing going. We'll talk to you once we get airborne. McGregor Lake is actually uh, an elongated type lake. Uh, it's actually a reservoir in uh, southern Alberta, but it uh, got the name of McGregor Lake. And it was created way back in 1920, and it was uh, completed uh, with uh, two dams bracketing uh, the Snake Lake in the Snake Valley. So where it's located is actually the Snake Valley. And it's situated about 100 kilometers or 62 miles southeast of Calgary, and it's in Vulcan County. So it's actually just uh, east of the uh, town of uh, Vulcan. Uh, the lake itself is uh, about 40 
kilometers by two kilometers uh, or um, you might say it's about 25 miles by just over a mile and a half um, wide and you can see how it elongates all the way down towards the end out there and we'll just fly down the end and you can uh, take a better look at it if you look a little bit further south here it's, uh, it's wide open so the ice actually quits uh, just about there, you can probably just see the uh, ice where the, uh, it just almost looks like a dam going across there. But uh, I guess it's all funneled into this part of the lake out here because the rest of the uh, area is all bare of, um, or free of ice. And you can see pretty well all the way down south there how this long lake goes from one to the other. And there's actually roads that go across it. Boy, there's a lot of lumps today. You can see in the distance there's a lot of virga around too. Uh, lots of uh, rain that isn't actually hitting the ground. So right here, you can see the uh, where the ice actually stops. And uh, the water begins. The uh, lake was uh, actually built for irrigation uh, of the farmland which surrounds this area. And uh, the lake has about 250,000 uh, acre feet of uh, reserves and was at, uh, when it's at 85% of max capacity. And that's enough water to provide almost 200 square miles or 500 square kilometers with a typical 24 uh, inch of watering. Uh, most of the uh, irrigation cropland in around this area is alfalfa uh, and clover for hay. And then they have uh, canola, corn, and uh, specialty crops. Uh, the uh, lake was also uh, commercially fished since 1938. And uh, it was actually commercially fished for northern pipe, pike, rather. And... Um, they actually have quite a bit of uh, different types of fish in here. Uh, they have uh, walleye, yellow perch, lake whitefish, rainbow trout, a northern pike or jackfish. And uh, the spawning uh, lake whitefish uh, can be seen in October uh, at the uh, sluice gates on the northwest corner of the lake. And local residents have reported catching up to 10 uh, kilogram northern pike or 22 pounds so it's uh, quite a uh, quite a, uh, quite a good active area for uh, sports uh, they also have uh, swimming boating access uh, uh, available and um, there's also an Alberta provincial park site with camping facilities at the northwest corner of the lake Now the uh, McGregor Lake, uh, at the southern tip, it flows into a uh, area called the Little Bow Provincial Park. And what it is, uh, it's um, it, it hooks onto what's what's uh, known as the uh, Traverse Reservoir, and uh, it's an artificial lake formed on the Little Bow River which is a tributary of the Old Man River. And now this particular area is noted for its uh, recreational boating and fishing. It was established uh, on January 20th, 1954, and it's maintained by the Alberta Tourism Parks and Recreation. Uh, on the east side, uh, there's actually an extensive area of um, summer homes, uh, rather expensive. And uh, here again you can see a pretty good example of the Virga clouds with the rain coming down. Um, and uh, Virga is just the rain that uh, doesn't uh, hit the ground. It evaporates before it actually does so. Uh, the odd time you, uh, you're kind of forced to fly through them because they're quite extensive. And it'll get quite rough underneath there, so you try to keep out of it. 
Also in this area, there's uh, quite a few or a good number of uh, windmills providing electricity uh, that uh, goes back into the grid. Okay, we're going to head on back, folks. Uh, using a different camera here now. Using the uh, Sony camera. Focus of traffic, Gulf Juliet Mike Romeo is 5 to the northeast at 4500, headed for Hannah. That's kind of bouncy out here, so uh, we're jumping up around uh, three, 400 feet sometimes. So I better get her back down to 5500 feet. miles away from uh, Balkan. It's uh, just to the west of us here. Welcome to travel, Charlie, Charlie, the numbers. On a short final runway uh, 3 4, it'll be a full stop. Welcome. Charlie Terry, November's cleared, runway 34 for the ramp. Welcome. Well, that was an hour of flying, that was kind of good. Enjoyed that. And there's the fuel pumps coming up. Now we got to get kind of close to it because uh, the uh, ground strap or the ground wire is not very long. And again, the hose is not that long either. So you got to kind of nose in out here. So I got a remaining 29 gallons. So, uh, and it holds, uh, let's see, 21, 21 more. So for I have roughly about 85 liters or so, we'll probably have to lift up, lift. 
about to shut her down here, and uh, about to shut her down and uh, call it a day. Okay, folks, uh, thanks for coming along. It's uh, yeah, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do this time around. Uh, a good old Ace McCool, uh, Ben, my grandson, uh, he might be down around uh, Christmas, or not Christmas, <laughs> what am I saying, Easter, so we'll see what happens, uh, probably take him up again, but uh, if you're liking the videos, folks, uh, yeah, I'd uh, just hit that subscribe button, I'd appreciate that on uh, YouTube, and uh, that little bell, you know, that ding-dong thing that's there, and it'll uh, give you an update as to uh, when I uh, actually uh, post another uh, video. And uh, hopefully this one turns out uh, it was bouncy, bouncy, but uh, we'll see what happens when I uh, edit it. Anyway, thanks for coming along, folks, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye now.